Hey guys, what's up? Rat Twitter 9 and we're back with some more Civilization 5. Um, I figured we should start a new Civilization playthrough. I'm still sticking with the, uh, Venetian... Wait, is that even how you say it? Regardless, I'm still sticking with the Venice playthrough, but I figured that playthrough... Oof, going downhill, we started off peacefully. And I want to kind of get through some more Civilizations that came in this, um, Brave New Worlds pack. So, we're going to be the Shoshone now, so they're Native American Indians. Um, I don't actually think they were in the uh, North America part of America, they were in the Central Southern America by the name, because the two L's next to each other makes J sound in Spanish, because I've taken Spanish for eight years. Anyway, let's start the game. And I'm going to be playing this game how I normally play games like this so with the large military So it turns out I was completely wrong with what I said. They are in the Northern America part of the United States, or of this continent. Um, and their bonus, founded city, founded city start with additional territory, so that's good. Units receive a combat bonus when fighting within their own territory, that's also good. Pathfinders. Ooh, this replaces the Scout. Possesses a promotion that allows it to choose to benefit when uncovering ancient ruin. Ooh. That is really nice. And the Comanche Riders. Um, this doesn't replace anything. It's a new mounted unit. Ooh. Build a city on a hill. River access. Another hill. We'll get extra land. So we might get the silk over there. Yeah, I know I know how to do all of this. So let's found the city. Ooh, we do get a lot of extra land. Two things of silk. Two animals, the gold in our city boundaries, and we get these pathfinders, which are better than the average scout. And right there, we discovered ruins. Choose a production. I think we can work on another pathfinder. Choose research. Mining, actually, since we have gold in our territory right there. I'm liking the way this start happened. Don't expect me to be able to pronounce the name of our capital, Monson Kani. Uh, that actually sounds close to being right. Uh, I'm like one fourth Native American, so you know these are my people. But I hate it when everybody just thinks you're Native American. But I actually have proof anyway. Choose ancient ruin bonus from list. All right, convince the remaining population to join one of your cities. We could do that. Use this contact with the lost tribe to enhance our culture. Trade with the lost tribe for gold. Have a look at their maps. Discover new technology. Uh, let's discover new technology. Ooh, we got archery. So, with that new technology, we're already ahead. I'm, I have a good feeling about this let's play. The Venetian one, you guys might not know this, but I had outtakes of Venetian one where we got destroyed by barbarians as soon as we got started. And which city-state is this? Yerevan? Okay, we are very close to a city-state. Get contact with them. And they give us 30 gold. That is good. And should we move our pathfinders this way? Let's see what's down here. We should have probably made a worker unit. 
Eh, we can make a worker after the Pathfinder. There's the Barbarian Encampment. Just keep moving this way. Ooh, another city state. One of your combat units is near an enemy unit. Yes, yeah, so, oh, wait, yeah, let me select don't tell don't remind me again. Monsun Kani has grown? Wow. We are just We've met I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. And our capital has grown. We have found ruins. But collecting those ruins will put us in danger of the barbarian encampment. But that is okay because if they decide to attack us, we can always select um, to upgrade the unit. So let's just. Oh, so we can't. Hmm. We can't get another new technology. We don't want gold because we already met two city states. We can upgrade the unit. We already know where the barbarian camps are. We have more population. But you get unhappiness from population. Culture? No. Let's have it upgrade this unit. So now we have archer unit. We can take care of this barbarian encampment, and we have another path. Or er, yeah, another pathfinder being built in three turns. So we could take a step back, attack the encampment. Oh, it's a good thing, really. We didn't pick gold from that ruins because we'll get gold from destroying the encampment. slowly pick away at encampment I wonder I know it's really early to be looking at demographics but oh we're third in soldiers so that must mean people got free tech something like that I don't know so far I don't see any great bodies of water so then we discovered mining Go. We got our Pathfinder. Gonna go with our Warrior. Choose Research. We'll go with Pottery so we can get these silk hooked up. We'll send the Pathfinder up north. See if we can make contact with anything up that way. And then we gotta send these archers in to claim the Barbarian Encampment before it produces more units. Twenty-five gold. Keep these pathfinders moving through the forest. Oh, there's a body of water. It's probably gonna be a barbarian encampment right here. I think I can see the water around there. It'll just be good to have a warrior at home. So if anything it goes down, we'll have a good defense. Oh, nothing? Wow. Ruins discovered and brutes on the move. I'm pretty sure we got some influence with Libos because we destroyed a barbarian encampment near them and we probably got some pantheon founder I don't care about religion now Portugal never played a game with Portugal it's funny just how it goes in real life Portugal disc oh they took the ruins and Masonkani has grown again could help them take out these brutes. Keep my pathfinder moving. Hmm.
Oh, so these scouts. Just gonna leave this to me, I guess. Good. I get XP for myself. Ooh, an oasis. Once we get another settler, we could just settle on the oasis and then have two cities that are decently close to each other, have a decent distance from each other. Unit promoted, so let's just get the rough terrain bonus. Uh, we don't want to attack them. Ooh, we discovered a natural wonder. A barbarian encampment. We got our warriors. We can just move them there just in case anything comes out of the fog of war. Keep heading down here. Ooh, there's a lot of food that can be produced here. And an oasis. But down here, this natural wonder. King Solomon's mines, happiness has increased. Well, our happiness has increased. But if we could get a settler down there. Just imagine. Unless this doesn't give a bonus. Oh, it gives six production. And that would be really good for a city that we just founded. Take out this barbarian encampment. We'll move these warriors over here. Ooh, we found ruins. Perfect. We might actually want our Pathfinder to come back around. Eh, actually, we already got the free technology, so. Animal husbandry. So we can get. Oh, we need trapping. We get a caravan, though. Ooh, ruins right there, perfect. Alright, these warriors can get those ruins, and Pathfinders can get the other ruins, and we'll get a lot of bonuses from ruins. That barbarian encampment is dead. We just need to conquer it. These ruins. Um. Culture. Gold. Let's get the population increase. And this will be a random one. And it gives us vision on the map which was a waste because that just told us all that is water which is kind of obvious but it's good that nothing is actually close to us and if we make a city on the oasis I don't even know oh they got more brutes whatever just XP to be farmed for my archers what was I saying there are a lot of hills over here which is a lot of production point uh yeah hammers so production when the oasis gives three food and one gold if we found a city right here we get a lot of production and a lot of food and it's on a hill so it's, well that's why it's two production duh but it's so close to our capital i don't know if that would be a waste or not we'll just think about it when the time comes but we have a really good starting setup like it like it already taking 45 damage from my archers these pathfinders move that way see what else you can find these warriors just move along the coast